Hello friends, welcome to BMH Learning. This video is about AMH test. This test measures the level of anti-mullerian hormone in the blood. AMH corresponds to a person's egg count. Your provider may also use an AMH test to help diagnose an ovarian mass. Although it's connected to your egg count, it doesn't predict your fertility. Although AMH is made in the reproductive tissues of both males and females, but doctors frequently use the test in women mainly to provide a snapshot of a woman's reproductive health. What is it used for? An AMS test is often used to check a woman's ability to produce eggs that can be fertilized for pregnancy. AMH levels help show how many potential egg cells a woman has left. This is known as the ovarian reserve. AMH levels correspond to the number of eggs you have or your ovarian reserve. So, higher AMH levels mean more eggs and a higher ovarian reserve. Lower AMH level mean few eggs and a lower ovarian reserve. So, in nutshell, if a woman's ovarian reserve is high, she may have a better chance of getting pregnant. And she may also be able to wait months or years before trying to get pregnant. On the other hand, if the ovarian reserve is low, it may mean a woman will have trouble getting pregnant. This means she could not delay very long before trying to have a baby. AMH tests may also be used to predict the start of menopause, find out the reason for early menopause, help find out the reason for amenorrhea, help diagnose polycystic ovarian syndrome, monitor women who have certain types of ovarian cancer. Normal ranges AMH levels may vary depending on your age. In women, AMH levels start rising during adolescence and peak around 25 years old. After that, AMH levels naturally decline. Providers measure AMH levels in nanograms per milliliter. Now, what is a good AMH level for your age? We know that AMH levels naturally decline with age. So, it's normal to see a lower ovarian reserve in your 30s, 40s and 50s. For actual numbers, consider these estimates. Follow the given chart. What do the results mean? If you are a woman trying to get pregnant, your results can help show what your chances are for conceiving. As already said, high levels of AMH can mean your chances are better. But high AMH is not always a good sign. It may also mean you have PCOS. A low level can mean you may have trouble getting pregnant. And if you are being treated for ovarian cancer, your test can show whether your treatment is working or not. This was all. Thanks for watching.